So let's get cracking. Wonderful that so many people, so many people. We have a, we have a, so in 2019, we had, uh, we had the first, an initial such meeting uh, aimed at bringing together folk from the um, broader Erica research, conservation community, um, but also also people from outside of that in the, and, and botanical enthusiasts. Um, and uh, it was a very inspiring event and we hoped to, to, um, to repeat it the following year and of course that that didn't work out and neither did the year after that and, and neither did the year after that so so here we are and and i'm um, feeling a bit a bit grayer and a bit more kind of uh, terrified of traveling but uh, but but we've, we've made it and it's lovely to, to, to see you of course we there are um it was a it was a wonderful meeting last time Aha, the first technical hitch is I'm not going to be able to change slides. Let's see. Ah, just about. Okay. So it was a lovely meeting last year, and we had the great and the good of, of Erica's with us. And of course, it's, it is horrible that, that, um, that, that some of the folk um, who were with us last time aren't with us now. And particularly Anthony Hitchcock, who we lost, is... is, is made an, an enormous hole in the Erica community, which um, is not the kind of thing that you can recover from very fast. Um, Ted and, uh, is not with us either, um, which is a shame, but I think the last time was also already the, the, the last meeting was, was a bit much, um, but he's in our thoughts. I'm glad to see Dirk uh, is, is online. And, and with us, which is wonderful, and 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 to the, to the rest of you, thank you for 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 for, for tuning in. Um, so, I've already probably taken up half of my of my of my slot, which is very which better. So I'm going to keep it keep it as quick as possible. So we um, since the last meeting, the major thing that has been going on on on, on our side has been um, the establishment of the Global Conservation Consortium for Erica. And um, I have the, the obligatory beautiful slide of Erica's and, uh, and, a, and a circumscription of the problem, which is that the some 900 odd Erica taxa in the Cape, of which a considerable proportion are threatened with extinction in the wild and and 100 also are data deficient. So we have an enormous problem in terms of conservation and we have an enormous problem in terms of knowledge as well, despite um, the, uh, the enormous amount of work that has gone on over the years. Uh, and so we published a paper just earlier this year which kind of describes how we wish to, 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 to from the Botanic Gardens community side, and we'll, this will be part of the of the discussions that we can have later, how we might might address this, uh, and um, we set up this conservation consortium under the auspices of Botanic Gardens Conservation International, um, and they are generally structured on a geographic uh, in a geographic way, whereby you split up the distribution of your folk or plant group into its different regions, and under those regions, in particular. Uh, uh, gardens would then take responsibility for um, driving forward conservation actions, and it would all be then uh, brought together under this this, this umbrella. Uh, for Erica, we decided this 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 didn't really make much much sense because basically everything's going on here, and and um, that would place entire of the, the responsibility basically on on the, the folks in in South Africa and um, would give no role and no, no, uh, no ability for anyone outside the region to, to actually chip in and uh, bring the, the resources that they have to bear to, 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 to help in the, the efforts that need to go on worldwide to conserve biodiversity. I mean, we have, we have bugger all up in Norway, honestly. We need, we need to be investing elsewhere. Uh, so we instead divided it up on, a, uh, on the basis of these working groups, 
which I think is a, a logical way of doing it in general because different people have different, um, different specializations and different expertise. So we divided up into in situ conservation uh, and outreach and plant care and propagation for the horticulturalists, the seed conservation and research um, for the seed bankers, including the Millennium Seed Bank and Sandy, uh, threat status and prioritization and taxonomy and phylogenomics. And these, these last two kind of fall under the research wing uh, in particular. And there's, there's, they interrelate basically all these working groups and each one includes research themes and everything. It's, it's a, if you try and draw the lines between them, it's a complete mess. They all, they're all inter interdependent. But these two are the ones that particularly I would talk about because it's mostly under uh, the, the kind of thing that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that we're doing. Um, so I can quickly go through some of the some of the basic work that we've been doing to, to under threat status and, cons and and prioritization. And this, the first step is then to to bring together the data. An enormous amounts of work have already been done, particularly then at Sandby, to bring together lots and lots and lots of data. So we've got a huge a, a lot to work with. Um, but it doesn't necessarily speak to the other initiatives that are going on, particularly to summarize. Um, names data. So we've got the, the world checklist of vascular plants based on Q, we've got the world flora online, uh, we've got this an enormous resource which is the International Register of Heather Names and these things don't basically speak to each other or don't speak to each other well. So you'll have inconsistency in names usage and uh, nothing really contains all of the information that has been generated by the Heather Society. So the first step is to bring this all together um, we can then, we need to, to, to make sure that they speak to the, the work indeed that has already been done on threat, um, on, on, on uh, threat assessments and make sure that we're talking about the right names with the right statuses. Uh, and we can then um, cross check to the red list of South African plants, which, which is an enormous body of work. Um, that, we can also look at the red list, which um, the IUCN red list, which which has very few ericas on it. Actually, basically only European species and trees, of which the European species are the least threatened. Um, and our tool then in this is to create this um, Brahms online database. And this is not it was not our intention to produce an, yet another thing. This is then our hub to bring in the, the data, to, to manage it together, and then to port it back out. We don't want to make another thing and keep it. We want to make sure that all of the other sources of data that people will still be referring to will then reflect the improvements that, that we will hopefully have been able to, to, to introduce. So this goes, this will then be kind of hosted in, on our, on our uh, online database that people will be able to look at, and then we can bring in the data that we need to make prioritizations in terms of the of the the the, 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 the gardens consortium. Then, um, bringing in data from from GBIF, from all of the from the Millennium Seed Bank, from all of the different databases that the different gardens will, can, can, what we are providing in all their wonderful myriad different forms um, to know. Finally, what, what is out there? What is the threat status? Who's got it in cultivation? Uh, and from there to, 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 to move on and prioritize further work to bring more into ex situ conservation and to prioritize particularly in situ conservation efforts. Uh, but that then strays into in situ conservation and then we'll, we'll be bringing, talking about that with other folk subsequently too. So that was, um, yeah, those are our intents. I'm going to switch, switch through. Finally, we move on to taxonomy and phylogenomics. And um, I'm really skipped through this, but we, 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 so um, Dirk and, and Ted and, and I, and then subsequently a bunch of you have been working on Erica phylogeny since 2008 and have been producing bigger phylogenetic trees, including more and more taxa over this time. We're still up to, no, thank you. We're still up to um, only about 65% of the, the species. Um, 
But this already allows us to, to understand more about the phylogenetic diversity of, the, of, of, of species richness, um, to make preliminary assessments of, the, uh, of how good species limits are, in that we can identify those which are, are, are obviously um, clusters of, of distantly related things, which is, which is important. Um, we can also use the more complex phylogenomic tools, which I had hoped Seth will be able to talk to us about later, um, but he, he is ill with COVID, so he, he won't. But we can at least use, we can use the phylogenomics then to really make detailed assessments of population structure and uh, species limits. And from there to derive a better taxonomy from which we can, again, we can better focus our efforts on conserving the biological diversity. Right. So um, I'm going to wrap up. Um, the stuff that's, that's, that has, has we've got a uh, a web page for the Global Conservation Consortium under the BGCI site, which is accumulating various different resources from our different working groups. Um, papers that are published will get 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 put out there, but particularly there are some uh, some videos that have been produced by our horticulture side, um, which will hopefully. We'll expand on and will be, be helpful for those in different gardens who are trying to cultivate ericas. Um, we're going to be doing a, an edge analysis with, um, particularly with Felix Forrest over at, at, at Kew, um, to look at how the phylogenetic diversity of different erica species could relate and how we can target those which, which encompass the most evolutionary history, basically, in, in, in conservation prioritization. Um, our work on the on bringing the names resources together is a, another step forward. Hopefully, then in the um, IUCN aim at having a uh, an online flora. Um, the gap analysis, conservation priorities. We, we, we will. This is these are things we need to talk about and research priorities also because and this these are then issues that it would be very good to bring up in discussion because um, there's too much work out there. And it's one of the strengths of bringing people together is to see what are people's interests, know what other people are doing, and make sure that we are that w that we are all focusing on 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 things that make sense in in the whole. And ideally, we would have lots of lots of interrelations between the work that we're doing, and and at a minimum, we should avoid redundancy. <laughs> so that's uh, that's something we can discuss. Yeah. Um, the vision for the future is, is, is goes into the distant future. I mean, a lot of the, the aims for these for under IUCN for um, for the Convention on Biological Diversity, I should say, are are very um, tough to reach for Erica's. The numbers of species that are threatened that should be in uh, ex situ conservation, uh, we may never reach that, but we have to try. Um, yeah, and another discussion point that we hope we can bring up is that a lot of the stuff that, that we are doing is either a, um, a diversion from a, a kind of a, a research core business that wouldn't otherwise be focused on conservation, um, but it is in any case limited by the number of person hours we can put into the work, and that is a funding thing. And so where we can see the possibilities to find research funding that can feed into conservation action and as a wide group of a consortium here which is not exactly the the bgci consortium but it is it is a it is it, we, we are effectively a, a consortium if we act like that this might give us potential for for uh, applying for funds that could actually make stuff happen so final slide this is um, the, uh, the, the different institutions that are involved in the BGCI consortium. Um, another thought back to, to Anthony Hitchcock, whose work without, without whom it wouldn't, this wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened. And, um, uh, and thank you for your attention.